Hi, um, my name is Ruth Hawksley. I work for the Wildlife Trust in Cambridgeshire and we are here at Cofen in Cambridge next to the Vickers Brook which is uh, where we've just done a recent project. We were working with the Wild Trout Trust and the City Council of Cambridge and we were funded by a pebble fund for Cambridge Water which is brilliant. Um, this is a really nice little watercourse actually. It's chalk stream, comes from the springs at Nine Wells along Hobson's Conduit and then it sort of overflows into Vickers Brook so the water quality here is pretty good and it flows into the cam just over there. So one of the things we were trying to do is to encourage more fish to come up from the cam into this nice little stream. So I suppose one of the problems with a lot of our streams these days is there's a lack of habitat. They're quite boring in terms of their shape because of how we've treated them historically. So one of the things this project has been trying to do is put some of those features back. So we've put 40 tonnes of gravel back in this short stretch of watercourse. We've also um, changed the shape. We've made some narrower sections, some deeper sections. We've used a whole load of faggot bundles, probably about 30 or 40, in order to narrow the channel down and change the shape of the banks. We've also put some fairly big bits of wood in and fixed those in place. And all of these features help create more little niches, more diversity in the flows. You've got more deep and shallow, fast and slow bends as well as straight and some riffles over gravel. And that provides a whole lot more different areas where um, different animals can live. So that includes invertebrates, different sizes and species of fish. And it should benefit the biodiversity of the whole stream. So the pebble pond paid for all the materials. That was the gravel, the um, faggot bundles, posts, um, wire or actually paracord that we use instead of wire and staples to fix everything in place. It also paid for the hire of um, a digger and a dumper to move gravel around and to move soil around so that we could place everything because it's quite a lot to move by hand, 40 tonnes. Um, so it's great and we couldn't have done it without that funding. So I'd, I'd recommend anybody who, who is thinking of doing a project to apply to the Devil Fund.